it's an issue all across our Colorado, but the land grab between cities and towns really heating up in northern Colorado. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Andrew Heal. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Towns and regions really are booming all over the state. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn's live at 5. Russell, with growth projections going nuts, towns are scrambling to annex land and boost tax revenue. Shannon, revenue. that's the idea. In many places up here, you still see vast areas of farmland like this, untouched and undeveloped. But don't be deceived. In many of these cases, there's likely someone or some entity that's already latched on. Inside the iconic Johnson's Corner. Johnstown was just a little old town and then they're doing all the road work. Lee Blondeau has never shied away from speaking her mind, especially when it comes to growth. I don't like it. Yeah. Too many people. <laughs> In fact, there are no shortage of opinions here. It was Johnstown. It was a small town. We don't need to grow. 525 should have been a three lane years and years ago. In northern Colorado, the growth is fast paced. They'll run out of land before they start. That's exactly what appears to be happening. Just take a look at this new map. At first glance, it looks like Metro Denver, but take a closer look. That's Johnstown in yellow, smack dab in the center of a new metro area with towns like Greeley, Windsor, and Fort Collins all abutting one another. While not all of this land is developed, the color coding indicates where cities have annexed virtually every square mile spoken for. We've been averaging around 200 new homes every year. Zach Santon is a planner for the town of Frederick, which has grown from 4,000 people in 2008 to 12,000 today. He says growing right up to the edge of other cities is common. It certainly we, we respect their interests and are trying to refer to them as much as possible to make sure their interests are respected. These road signs tell the story well. Frederick going in one direction, Decono in the other. Yet there's not much out here at the moment. A fight for land, businesses, and the tax dollars that come with it. And we've got a new library. They're building a new rec center. A fact of life in NOCO. It's good for people who want to live here, but it's getting a little crowded, I say. She was a character, and there's a statistic out there that highlights all of this. The state demographics office is projecting many areas of northern Colorado, in particular Greeley and Fort Collins, to double in size over the next 20 to 30 years. We're live in Loveland tonight. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. Wow.